Hello, friends. Now let's solve the max consecutive ones three problem. Let's see a statement. Given an array a of zeros and ones, we may change up to k values from zero to one. Return the length of the longest contiguous subarray that contains only ones. Let's see this example. We can change the this zero and this zero to one. Ah,、uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can get the longest、uh, subarray that contain only one. And the length should be six. And、uh, for this example, we can flip this、uh, two zeros and、uh, this zero to one to get the longest uh, continuous uh, subarray that contains only one. So how to solve this question? I think there is a great hint that is that this is a subarray. For a subarray problem, you may think about the algorithm of sliding window, because the feature of the sliding window algorithm is to maintain a window from the index low to the step uh to the index high. And、uh, usually, when you calculate the sum of the subarray. Uh, you may use the prefix sum. You may uh accumulate the sum from zero to the index j, and、uh, in order to get the sum from the index i to index j, you may use prefix sum j minus prefix sum i. So I think this question can also use these two ideas. Um. So um. As I said before, the intuition is the subarray, and then、uh, for this question, we will use two pointers, which is the sliding window. We maintain these two pointers, low pointer and high pointer, and、uh, we accumulate the sum of the prefix、uh, of zeros and ones. And when we know the number of zeros is out of bounds, which means is greater than k, we move low forward to get a valid window because when the Sum of the zeros is greater than k. This is the invalid window. Then we will try to move low forward to get a valid window. Every time we get a valid window, we will compare that、uh, length with the maximum length. So at last,、uh, we can return the maximum length, and the time complexity should be linear, and the space complexity is constant because we, uh. We haven't used another、uh, storage, so let's solve it. We will use a low pointer and a high pointer, and we get n, which is the length of this array. And we will get a result. It start. It should be zero. And、uh, we also use a prefix sum. It's zero. Then we iterate this array. High equal to zero. High less than n. High plus plus. Okay. Uh, we will accumulate this prefix sum. So, if uh, a high equal to zero, we accumulate one. But if it's one, we accumulate zero because we ne only need to calculate the number of the zeros. And once the prefix sum is greater than k. Uh, we will try to find the first zero and and the and the exclusive exclude it. So y low is less than high and、uh, a low equal to one. We move low forward. So when it out of this while loop, we know that the uh a low should be equal to zero, and we um. Minus it, minus one from the prefix sum, and move low forward. That means we、um, drop one zero from this window. Then every time,、uh, when we are here, we know that we have a valid window. So we will compare if high minus low plus one is greater than the result. We will update the result to high minus low plus one. And、finally, we return this result.
Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.